Liam, a fresh start today. You've come back from injury. How do you feel the, the performance went today? Uh, first half, we were, I thought we were brilliant. Um, obviously, yeah, it's um, been a while since I've started the game. Uh, been managing me carefully to get me back in and obviously came on the last 15 minutes on Wednesday and then obviously the plan was to to do half an hour today but um, obviously managed to do the whole half and which was good for me uh, like I said the first half I thought, I thought was, was really good and accomplished and I thought we looked a threat uh, we looked like a we looked like our, the team from last year and obviously it's been hard with the squad being sort of so so um, brittle at the moment as in numbers wise and and asking the boys to go 90, 90, 90, sort of Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday. And um, and like I said, the first half was, was pleasing for us. Um, forced, and then a few enforced changes in the second half. Um, again, needing to, to protect the squad. And obviously, by us not being sort of competitive in this cup at the moment, you, you've got to just protect the players. And obviously, the big the big reason is because the league starts next week. And obviously, the four games in a row, you know, you said yourself there, you touched on Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday. How how much of an impact you know does that have on on a performance like today against a full time team? Um, no, I just think it's it's one of the ones where you know, like I said in the first half we looked we looked fit, we looked strong, we we looked accomplished, and and like when you take like I said in the second half when you when you take a few players out, it just sort of disjoints it a little bit, and um, we have to bring on the young boys who obviously might not quite be up to the speed of like a, a championship side, and it's it's a learning curve for them and them players as well, so. You know, we uh, we come away from this this game looking at the the positives from it, which there were, there were plenty, and I think obviously going into next season um, next week um, with the numbers that we've got and, and the players available, I feel that we're in a, we're in a good position to start the league. And uh, players like Brody Devine um, and you know these guys come on. Did they look at you, you know, for a bit of inspiration? Have you had a chance to kind of tap them on the shoulder and, and you know show them what's needed? To yeah. Get like, like I said, they, 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 the age they are, um, they're fortunate enough at the moment, like I said, with the numbers that we've got, that they're, they're getting thrown in. And sometimes that's the best the best way for them um, to get thrown in. But you have to learn quick. Because um, if you don't learn quick, you'll just get taken advantage of. And, you know, um, and I'll always talk to, I spoke to a couple of them after that, after the game just then, just because there's things, every time you step onto a football pitch, you can learn. Like, even myself, probably know know a lot of it now but you can always still learn certain things from positional sense or just energy bringing that bringing bringing the youth that they've got use it run hard come on that's the one thing you can guarantee when you go onto a pitch you know you can go on there and run hard for the, for the team um the rest of it that just comes with confidence and, and and getting on the ball and sort of and sort of releasing their sort of shackles of that that younger player mentality sometimes it's that little bit of fear and i mean we've got a good squad and and you know, it's not the type of old school squads where the senior players are players you need to be scared of. It's, it's players that, that want to help you and, and those younger players need to take it on board. And we're finished with this competition now. And, and like myself, sometimes, you know, you wake up on Monday morning, it's a new day um, and we move on to, you know, the, the bread and butter of the league. Are you looking forward to getting straight into that competition? Yes. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, after the first couple of games, we knew we weren't going to be competitive in this cup. And it's one of the ones where it's just about getting minutes into the boys' legs, uh, fitness into them. And like I said, taking the positives from the from those games. Um, there's some really good positives from all the preseason games. I mean, the first half at Hibs, I thought we were brilliant. Um, the Bonnie Rigg game, and obviously even the the Celtic game, the way we started that. Um, and again, you learn from it. Like we've freed it up. We should score a fourth, and then we should shut the game out by that point. But you know, it's all these. Like I said, football's a learning game. You, you never know what's going to happen in it. And it's one of them ones where we have players with ability. And it's just like I say, it's all about producing consistency. We want like sevens, eights out to ten every week. We don't want a ten one week and a four the next week. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, it's like I said, it's it's a, a learning game. I've been in it long enough now to to be able to try and advise players. And the biggest thing is football is is the ability to take stuff on board and take it on the right way. And and like I said, we've got the squad that and the environment that we we can talk to each other like and and it's not received in the wrong way. So. No, I mean, if you look at our squad, okay, yeah, well, our numbers are down, but if you look at our probably t t our first sort of 13 players on the team sheet, it's a, it's, a, it's a strong team, you know, and obviously I know the Gaffer's working hard to, to sort of bring it back up, um, get more players in and, and, and strengthen us and, you know, that will come. But, you know, we, we go next week with 
with a decent, like I said, 12, 13 players that are, you know, that have actually experienced league football, you know. That's great. Thanks, Liam. Appreciate that. Cheers, mate.